Llama 3.370b, Meta's latest text-only AI model, is making waves for its impressive performance and efficiency. It nearly matches the capabilities of the much larger Llama 3.1405b, scoring 86.0 on MMLU and 88.4 on Human Evil benchmarks, while being significantly more cost-effective to operate. Unlike its predecessor, Llama 3.2, which introduced multimodal features with vision models. Llama 3.3 focuses exclusively on text processing. It excels in reasoning, mathematics, and general knowledge tasks, offering enhanced efficiency and improved code feedback with robust error handling, solidifying its position as a leader in text-based AI applications. Llama 3.3 excels in logical reasoning surpassing GPT-4 in specific tests like the Magic Elevator test and performs strongly on the MMLU benchmark despite its smaller size. GPT-4 remains a leader in language understanding, math, and problem solving. Gemini Pro shows reasoning improvements and strong multimodal capabilities, but doesn't consistently outperform GPT-4. Claude 3.5 shines in nuanced understanding and math benchmarks, utilizing its 200k token context window for complex tasks. Let's run Llama 3.3 locally using Olama and then create a simple agent in Phidata to perform a few tasks. First, open the Olama command line and pull Llama 3.3 by running the following command. The download process may take some time, depending on your machine's performance and internet speed. After downloading, we'll create a Python agent using Phidata to test Llama 3.3's reasoning and coding abilities. The agent will generate logical explanations or code based on tasks, which we will then review to assess its accuracy, clarity, and performance. To get started, launch Visual Studio Code and open your project folder. Then, open the integrated terminal and create a virtual environment to set up an isolated workspace for your project. Once the virtual environment is activated, we will first install Olama in the terminal to run Llama 3.3 locally. Then, we'll install PyData to set up a Python agent for testing Llama 3.3's reasoning and coding capabilities. Using PyData, we will create a simple agent to ask Llama 3.3 the question. Roger has five tennis balls. He buys two cans with three balls each. How many does he have now? The agent will process the query, analyze Llama 3.3's response, and verify its accuracy and reasoning. The agent's response offers a clear and logical solution to the problem by breaking it into three steps, stating the initial count of tennis balls, five, calculating the additional balls purchased, two cans times three balls equals six, and summing them up to determine the total, five plus six, six, equal to 11. The explanation is well-structured and easy to follow, demonstrating strong reasoning and problem-solving capabilities. Next, we will ask the agent to solve a coding problem. Write a function that takes a string and a character as input and returns the number of times the character appears in the string. The agent will generate a solution, which we will review for correctness, clarity, and efficiency. The Llama 3.3 first generated an example function to count the occurrences of a character in the string Hello World using the character L. The demonstration shows the function accurately counting the number of times L appears in the string, which highlights the function's utility and correctness. Let's test the generated function with two examples. Hello world, using the character L, and strawberry, using the character R. We'll check if the function runs without errors and produces the desired outputs. For hello world, with the character L, the expected result is three since the letter L appears three times. Likewise, we will test the function with the strawberry example using the character R. The expected result is three since the letter R appears three times in the string. This test will help verify the function's accuracy and ensure it handles this input correctly.
Llama 3.3 serves as a powerful example of how large language models can effectively balance advanced capabilities with accessibility. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.